the Rose Bowl. And you want to talk about a fun ball game? Ohio State 48, Utah 45. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, 15 receptions, 347 yards, three touchdowns. Let me let me read that again a little more slowly. 347 yards receiving in this ball game on 15 receptions. Just ridiculous. The postgame win expectancy was Ohio State 69%. Cam Rising went out in the fourth quarter with a concussion. Bryson Barnes almost became the hero for Utah, but Ohio State went right down the field. How weird of a call at the end of the game for Ryan Day to call a timeout with 12 seconds left. They've got second and one on the two-yard line and come out and kick the field goal. Like, that, if you were going to call the timeout and kick the field goal, why would you not just let the clock run down? It was really strange. Like, I, I, I could not figure that out to save my life. Uh, did you see anything that was going on there? No, I, I, I just think some of these coaches aren't really good with end of game scenarios and situations with the clock. It's. I, I almost wonder because they did have the, they had the turnover early, not early second quarter, I guess it was where the ball got hit from behind and like knocked out of the back of the end zone. Maybe he decided he didn't want to risk a turnover, but, I mean. It just, I didn't understand it. I was very thankful for it. I will tell you that because I had a bet on Utah plus seven. And then after the opt outs, I had a Utah plus four and a half. I did have a Utah money line. I did not hit that. But after that first half, I hit uh, the Ohio State team total over 21 in the second half. And no, I just, I just think some coaches are really bad at some of these in the game situations. It didn't, it didn't cost him the game. I think he felt safe that it wasn't going to cost him the game. But, you know, in another situation, it could have. Yeah, so, no, it absolutely could have. Uh, incredibly fun game when, you know, Ohio State was missing every receiver known to man. Like, I, I thought, man, Ohio State doesn't want to be here. Utah yeah. absolutely wants to be here. I think Utah is going to win this game flat out. Utah started this game off scoring over and over and over again. I thought, <laughs> man, Ohio State's defense is just hot garbage because Utah's offense ain't looked this good. Ever, 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 <laughs> ever in the history of Utah football, they've never looked this good. And uh, Ohio State kept going blow for blow with them. And I just yeah. thought, holy shit, this game is just this is this is what this game's gonna be. And then we got to the fourth quarter. Then we got to the end, and we stopped having long drives that ended in touchdowns. And we just had like two plays, boom, kickoff return, boom, like shit. We're just doing this. Yeah. We're just we're just scoring twenty some points in, in like a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Like it, this was a fun, fun ball game. Yes, and it was it was unbelievable. Now I don't know how good of a game it would have been if the because everybody talked about you know if if you expand the playoffs this would have been a this would have been one of the playoff games you know number six against number eleven and blah 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 blah. You you toss Garrett Wilson out there. You toss Chris Olave out there. You put in now, whoa, like, whoa, Haskell. Games. None of those none of those defensive guys were showing up to stop Utah though. Well, that's uh, that's what I'm saying. So Haskell Garrett. So those I guys, don't know they that have, we get a worse game because Ohio State can't score much more than they scored already. They so they had a unless fumble. one of these teams were going to bring back a bunch of defensive players. We're not getting a whole lot of different game. We're just getting different dudes scoring touchdowns. Let's see. There were only three drives. Take that back. There were. There were five drives that Ohio State did not score on, right? They, I, I they, think I think I don't think the game changes at all, at all. I just think different not. guys are different guys are scoring touchdowns. Maybe because so. way Utah scored too much down points. Like I said, it just it would have been a great game. It would have been a playoff game. Yes. It would have mattered. It would have been unbelievable. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, the like difference I said, is, is the game would have been played in Ohio State. That's where the difference yeah. would have been. The post game win expectancy here, uh, Ohio State sixty nine percent. CJ Stroud thirty seven to forty six passing, five hundred seventy three yards, six touchdowns, one pick in the game. Uh, it was awesome. Like they they didn't really have to run the ball much, but they ran twenty times for one hundred ten yards. Travion Will- or uh, excuse me, Travion Henderson was awesome. Seventeen carries, eighty three yards. This was fun. Like the future is still bright for Ohio State. It will continue to be so. They lost those wide receivers, and they still had five star after five star. After. They got the best wide receiver room in the country. Like it, it just it did not hurt them at all. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE. 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.